Now we'd all love to own a top of the range bike, bristling with carbon fiber and fancy suspension. But the reality is often something a little bit modest. Now we know that having a top of the range bike won't make you a better rider, but will it make you any faster? We've come to the Forest of Dean to try and find out. To do this, we're gonna time ourselves on a climb and a descent and use the results to decide whether that posh boutique bike you've always dreamed about will actually get you to the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill any quicker. The descent we've chosen is a 100% fast flowing single track that will test the bike's handling, acceleration and ability to carry speed. It's not a technically demanding run, but it's typical of the kind of trail centre single track that most people ride on. After a sighting lap, our two lab rats will do a timed run as fast as they can go. Then they'll swap bikes and repeat the descent. Finally, we'll move on to our hill climb challenge, where lightweight and efficient suspension should be a big advantage. The two bikes we're using are the superb Calibre Boss Nut from Go Outdoors and the gorgeous Santa Cruz 5010cc. At a pound shy of six grand, you'll need deep pockets to afford the Santa Cruz and our bike didn't even come with the carbon wheel option. Walk into a Go Outdoors Superstore, however, and you could be riding away on a Calibre Boss Nut for only £999. To keep the test as fair as possible, both are rolling on 27.5 inch wheels and rocking 130 millimeters of travel. Before we examine the results, let's get the caveats out of the way. To get a more accurate conclusion, Ideally, we would have carried out a series of runs with a larger sample of riders. Equally, a power meter would have been really useful to keep our efforts consistent on the climbs. But while not entirely scientific, the results are certainly interesting. Charlie's first run was aboard the Calibre. For the first section, he clocked a 109, followed by a 242 for the second part, making a total time of 3 minutes 51. On the Santa Cruz, he did a 108 and a 239 for a combined time of 3 minutes 47. Danny's first run was also on the Calibre and produced a 113 for the upper trail and a 250 for the lower, making a total time of 4 minutes 03. His run on the Santa Cruz stopped the clock at 111 and 249 for a total time of 4 minutes. Charlie's runs on the hill climb were 3 minutes 26 on the Calibre and 2 minutes 55 on the Santa Cruz. Danny completed the climb in 3 minutes 24 on the Calibre and 3.19 on the Santa Cruz. So with all the times in, let's take a look at the overall results. Both uphill and downhill, Danny and Charlie went faster on the more expensive Santa Cruz. Charlie was 4 seconds faster downhill on the Santa Cruz, while Danny was 3 seconds quicker. Danny got to the top of the climb 5 seconds faster on the Santa Cruz, but Charlie lopped a massive 31 seconds off his time. A pretty conclusive set of results then. In all cases, we were quicker on the boutique Santa Cruz than the high street calibre. And the 5010 wasn't just faster against the clock, it felt faster too, carrying more speed with less effort, so we didn't use as much energy achieving those times. But considering the price difference between the two bikes, the time gaps are minimal. To put it into perspective, every second gained on the descent cost between £1,250 and £1,600, depending on who was riding. And if we look at Danny's time on the hill climb, getting to the top quicker still cost a grand a second. So while it's clear from our little experiment that more expensive bikes do let you ride faster, they're incredibly close in terms of pace, and it's the difference in ride quality that really separates them. Expensive bikes are lighter, more comfortable and need less energy to ride faster. But if you're on a budget, entry level models such as the Calibre offer amazing performance at a fraction of the cost. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe and leave a comment below with any suggestions of videos you'd like to see or bikes you'd like to see tested. Thanks very much for watching.